I'm out in Hawaii. Bellator's got two shows. First show's in the books, okay? So this was a salute to the troops. Couldn't buy a ticket if you wanted. Active military. Scott Coker, Bellator lets them in for free. Entertains. Our warriors entertain the real warriors for the night. But there was, uh, there was some very meaningful stuff that happened. First off, AJ McKee, okay? Antonio McKee's son. He's good. Moves to 13 and 0. They're starting to up his competition a little bit, but I think what people are starting to see is just how good he is, just how prepared he is. He's shown his striking off, he's shown his cardio off, he's shown his reach off. Tonight he showed his grappling off. And I think if you were to look for any storyline of what comes next, I think that would be the guy. I think that would be the most interesting guy of how far can he go up. He was the supporting cast tonight. He was halfway through the main card. Does he move into a co-main event spot? I think that's very likely. He is 13-0. You, it's very hard to bring a guy along slowly that has one of the best records in the entire sport. You move into the co-main event, we saw Frank Mir, and he's out there with a guy named Har uh, Javi Ayala. The reason I tell you guys his name, I'm not sure you guys know who he is. Javi Ayala had one win and two losses in Bellator. And the one win that he had, he was a 14 to one underdog. Boom, threw one punch, caught Sergey. Tarnaharnov moves on. So he goes out there and Frank starts fighting. You know, Frank is so good in positions, but he's one of those guys, and most guys fall into this category, but they have to get the fight to those positions. When Frank was in those, particularly on the ground, he knows exactly where he is. He's never in jeopardy. No one's getting close to getting a submission. No one's getting a close to getting a sweep or a reversal. Frank knows right where he is. His weight settled, his hips are down. He's attacking cross body and arms, he knows how to pass, he knows how to advance, he knows how to strike from there. There was times in the fight when he was on his feet that Javi was just able to get his offense going. And the fight kept going to the ground, Frank had no problem, the fight would come to the feet, all of a sudden they're in a dog fight, and both guys are going back and forth. And it became pretty clear real early on, this is gonna be a battle of who can get to their position more than the other guy. I don't know what happened to Frank completely, but he took a punch at one point, his mouthpiece comes out. He takes a punch later, and I believe, you know, we're gonna have to wait in here, but I believe like his gums and stuff were broken, a tooth came out, but I think he more, I think got something fractured. He didn't have the mouthpiece in to support him, and he also didn't even know that it had come out. As Soon as he took the shot, he was reaching in his mouth, trying to pull the mouthpiece out over and over and over, looking for it, not knowing it was already out. Well, that's a pretty tough spot. Right, I mean, not for nothing, but there's a reason in the extremely limited rules that we have of this sport that having a mouthpiece is one of the very few rules. If you go into a fist fight without a mouthpiece, pretty tough spot to be in. So, good win for Javi, no question. Tough luck for Frank, and I certainly hope that he's doing okay right now. Moving to the main event, rematch. Chandler versus Premise. And it turned out to be a really great fight. Premise had his moments, he dropped Chandler, he took his back, he almost, you know, tried to put in the, the choke. And Chandler finally started to figure out the recipe. I need to just take my opponent down. If I can take him down, and, and Premise, who's my own teammate, but one of the mistakes he made strategically as you look back is, every time he was down, he looked for the submission relentlessly. Good for him, but he never looked for the stand-up. So as soon as Chandler caught on to that, he realized, okay, I don't have to work to keep this guy down. He's gonna keep himself down. I just need to stay on top and make sure that the judges see that. If I can do that minute by minute, they're gonna turn it around, they're gonna turn it into a fight, I'm gonna get my hand raised. It's exactly what happened. What's gonna be next? Possibly you warrant the rubber match. They are now one apiece, possibly. Possibly you don't. I know Pitbull's been coming after Chandler. I think that's a compelling fight. Chandler was talking about Rory McDonald. Rory's got his hands full for the time being, but the point is, there's options. There's things to do with Michael Chandler. Let's sit back and see where it lands.